everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Queen Khaleesi, and today we're gonna show you general stretching for stress relief. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure and click on the subscribe button and make your subscription public or let me know that you've subscribed because I always try and respond to my subscribers. So these general stretches should help relieve some stress, help you relax, get rid of some of that anxiety. So the first one is just going to be an upper trap stretch. And a lot of these stretches are in the neck and kind of in the chest area because a lot of our stress comes from our shoulders and our neck area. So the first one is just an upper trap stretch. And you've probably seen me do this before if you've seen some of my videos, but there's a couple different ways you can do it. So for the upper traps, those that's that big triangle muscle in the back of your neck and it, the whole trap goes down into your upper back as well. So if you're stretching your left side, you can either sit on your hand. If you're sitting in a chair, you don't have to be on the floor. You can hold on to the chair or you can place your hand behind your back. So whichever one is more comfortable for you. I like just kind of sitting on my hand and that holds your shoulder down. So you don't have to do this, but it'll give you a better stretch because a lot of times when people are stretching, their shoulder comes up and then they're not quite getting the stretch they need. So I'm gonna place mine underneath me just to keep it down. And then you're gonna take your other hand and kind of bring your middle finger over to your touching your ear. And so all you're gonna do is gently pull away. So I'm not turning my head to the side. I'm not looking up right now. I'm just taking my head completely over to the side and getting that nice stretch. I feel that stretch kind of through that upper trap area right through there, maybe even down into my shoulder if my shoulder's tight as well. So this is going to be a full stretch. You're going to hold it for 30 seconds. And then after that 30 seconds, you're going to come up, relax it a little bit, give a little time in between, and then go back into the stretch. So I'm going to take a moment to do a little smile for my thumbnail. You can take that picture if you want to. And then again, that 30 seconds, three times, you want to do both sides. So now I'm going to do behind my back. So you can see it behind my back, bringing my hand up over where my fingers touching my ear and then just gently pulling over. If it's comfortable in all the directions of where your hand is, you might want to try it because you might feel a slightly different stretch depending on if it's back here or if it's on your side. And then just pick the one that you feel like is really best for you. So the next one is going to be a levator scapulae stretch. And that levator scap is the one that come, is, is all the way down into your shoulder blade and it comes all the way up into your neck connecting to that cervical spine. So really stretching this one out, out helps really relax you and gets rid of some of that stress. So this one, again, you can do a couple different ways. I like if I'm stretching this side to kind of put my hand here with my elbow up. Um, this again helps hold that shoulder blade down to give you a better stretch. If you have some shoulder issues and this isn't comfortable, you don't have to do it. You can also raise your hand and do get that stretch. Or again, you can kind of put your hand behind your back. So whichever one is more comfortable for you. I always learned it this way, so I, this is the way I usually do it. But again, you can do it whatever um, way is comfortable for you. Then you're going to kind of turn your head at a 45 degree angle. So it's not straight in front of you. It's not completely to, to the side. Going to turn your head at that angle, put your hand up and over behind your head, and then kind of pull down almost like you're trying to tuck your nose into your armpit there. And you should feel that stretch right in there. And that's where that levator scap is. But again, I'm going straight down. This time I'm not turning my head to the side. I'm at that angle. I'm really almost just trying to, again, pulling that nose into the armpit and holding it for that 30 seconds, getting that nice 30 second stretch. Um, doing that three times, doing it on both sides. I like to alternate back and forth in between. So you're kind of giving each side a little break in between, but if you want to do them all on one side, you can. So for this side, I'm going to put my arm behind my back. And then, so same thing, my hands coming up and over, my head's turned and I'm trying to tuck my nose into my armpit there. You might want to make sure you've got some deodorant on if you uh, haven't been out in a few days and then just holding that for that 30 seconds and then coming back up. So again, three on each side. So then the next one is gonna be for our sternocleidomastoid muscle or the SCM. And that muscle comes all the way up to this little mastoid bone on our skull here and comes down 
to the clavicle here and attaches. So it comes all the way through here. And so this one again helps relieve stress if you get it relaxed. So this one is kind of interesting. There's a couple of different ways you can stretch it. You might've seen me do the, uh, the artist pose, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. So you're just gonna turn your head to the side and you're not gonna move your head, but now you're gonna turn your eyes down towards your shoulder. I'm look, trying to look at my shoulder. And it's very interesting because I didn't think this would make a big difference with your eyes, but when I turn my eyes, I feel an even better stretch right through there. So again, holding for 30 seconds, really turn those eyes and look over towards um, that side because it's really gonna get that stretch in there. And then coming up, again, if you wanna alternate both sides, that 30 second hold three times. So I'm side bending and then I'm looking over to the side, over towards that shoulder. And I can really feel that stretch when I do that side bend over there. And with my eyes, it makes it stretch even more. So it's really interesting how that works because it's all connected, you know, our eyes and then even our muscles here are all innervated by those same cranial nerves up there. So when you're moving one, you're really activating some stuff in the other one. So it's a really neat trick there. So then the next ones are just gonna be um, isometric exercises for the cervical muscles or your neck muscles. And isometric exercises are really that you're activating the muscle, but you're not moving. And so what that does is it's really good to help relieve stress because a lot of times when you have stress, your muscles are really tight. And so it might be painful to move it, but if you're activating those muscles, sometimes it will help them relax. So with isometric exercises, what you're really gonna do is just push into your hand. And so the mo motion I would be doing first is gonna be like a side bend motion. So this is the motion I'm doing, but I'm gonna use my hand just kind of on the side of my head so I'm not moving my head. So I'm pushing my head into my hand. Some people wanna push their hand in their head. That's a slightly different exercise. So this is the movement I'm doing, but my hand is stopping it. When you first do these, I would just start at maybe like 30 to 40% of as hard as you can push. I wouldn't push as hard as you can. You might see some of these muscles activate and just for about a three to five second hold and then again, switch sides. So again, this is the motion I'm doing, but I'm not actually doing the movement, but I'm activating my muscle by pushing into my hand. And as you do more, you can then increase the, the how hard you're pushing up to about 75%. But I don't know if I'd ever go 100%, um, but, you, but you can. As long as it's not painful. So then the next one would be just turning your head into a rotation, turning it to the side. And so it's the same thing. This is the motion I'm doing, but I'm stopping myself and I'm just trying to turn my head into my hand, but my hand is stopping it. So again, that three to five second hold, and then you can alternate back and forth if you want to. I like doing that just to give each side a little break. Holding three to five seconds, maybe doing five on each side. So then the last one is just gonna be diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing. And this really helps use our pelvic floor muscles when we breathe through the diaphragm. And the reason that's important is because, again, when we get really stressed out or we have anxiety, all of our muscles tend to just get all kind of angry and stressed out. And if you look at the nerve pattern in our body, in our belly area, there's nerves all over. And so to get those relaxed and to relieve that stress, breathing through your belly and using those pelvic floor muscles really help. So belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing is kind of like it sounds, you're breathing through your belly. So you're not breathing in where your chest is coming up and down, but you're breathing where your belly is coming in and out while you're breathing. And so you're not just pushing it in and out, you're really trying to get that air coming in to the belly area. Sometimes I find that it's easier doing it lying down just for me because I can kind of see it rise up and down. But a lot of times if you just place your hand on, uh, one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly, you want your the one on your chest to stay still and the one on your belly just to slightly move in and out. And that's how you know you're breathing through your belly. So I'm gonna do it some, my, my tummy might make some noises. It tends to do that when I do belly breathing. So if it does, I apologize. Um, so I'm just gonna breathe in. and breathe out. It might be a little hard to see my hand moving, but you should be, be able to see my hand moving just a little bit like that. So again, if you truly want to relieve some stress, I'd say maybe lay down and do it, but you can do it sitting in a chair. Maybe if you're at work or you're working on the computer and you get a little stress out, you can do it sitting as well. And again, 
you really want to see that belly moving in and out. And you can, even just after five nice deep breaths with belly breathing, I always feel a little bit more relaxed. And so it's a nice way to help kind of relieve that stress. Oh, I know, that's right. So those were general stretching for stress relief. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link right there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.